Hello, this is Al K0CN. We're here with the Alpha 8410 Full Legal Limit Manual Tuning Linear Amplifier. Today I'd like to take a look at the rear panel of this amplifier and look at the connections necessary for operation. First we see the power cord which is terminated in a 240 volt 20 amp plug. Next in the lower left corner we see the chassis ground which is connected to the station ground. Next to the ground we see a grill where air enters the chassis and is used for cooling. Next we see two RCA connectors. They are the key line in and key line out. We would connect a shielded cable with an RCA connector between the TRN and the transceiver or the exciter. Next we see three fuses. Next to that we see two RF connectors, an RF input which comes from the exciter and an RF output which goes to the antenna or an external tuner. Next we see the motor for the fan that's used to cool the amplifier. The air enters the chassis through the grill. It passes through the chassis, through the final amplifier tube and exits through the grill on the cover of the amplifier. It's recommended that you leave at least three inches of clearance around the air inlet and the air outlet for proper cooling. Finally we have a USB connector on the back of the amplifier. This allows telemetry from the amplifier to be sent to the computer and using the software provided by Alpha you can monitor various functions of the amplifier through your computer. That's it. That's a look at the rear panel and the connections necessary to operate the Alpha 8410 linear amplifier. Thanks for watching.